Hey there, it's Jeff Caliguire. Let me ask you a question. What would it look like today if you were to lead like a lion? Well, you know, you may not think of yourself quite as that animal, but of all the animals in the world that God could have chosen to identify with, God chose an eagle, but he also chose a lion. And why a lion? You know, a lion isn't the fastest animal in, in the jungle. It's not the smartest, certainly not the tallest or the biggest and the heaviest. And yet, if an elephant were to face a lion, guess who would run? The elephant. Why would that be? Why would there be something about a lion that would make every other animal in the jungle respect them? And I think it has to do something with the confidence of the lion. See, the lion knows that he's a lion. He knows he's called to something. And my belief is that when you know your identity, know who God really created you to be, and you step into that authority, and you step into what you're great at and what you know you're here for, you're going to start leading more and more like a lion. I was once with a, on a retreat, and we had to do this exercise where we gathered in a circle with all these people that I'd never met before. And we had to determine by just looking at each other, who was the leader in the group. So we stood there just silently. You weren't allowed to say anything. And you had to just look at each other to determine who was the leader. Well, it took, you know, moments and then someone sat down and then eventually somebody else sat down. And it came to me and one other person. And we stood there for what seemed like an eternity. And finally, I'm like, all right, if this person's that into it, I'm going to sit down. And I since look back on that and I think, what made me sit down? And I think it's the same thing that could cause us not to step into our identity. It's not knowing who we really are and knowing the authority that's been given to us. So my encouragement to you today is what would it look like to live into the lion that God has created you to be and to be the authority and to be the person in your niche, in your area that is confident and courageous. In fact, that's what God tells Joshua in the first, in the first chapter of Joshua. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. And that's what I think the message for any leader, any entrepreneur, and really anyone who wants to live into their potential is. What does it look like to live into your lion? Anyway, hope you're having a great day. It's starting to snow here. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.